Good morning to my fellow anxious girlies and my fellow anxious girlies only. I'm very anxious today. I came home from Florida yesterday. My flight was like so early in the morning. It was literally a 6 a.m. takeoff. So I landed here at like eight. It was freezing cold. It's like 20 degrees. I just like wasn't mentally prepared for it to be like cold because when I left it, I was still wearing shorts. Like I was wearing like dresses and shorts. And I don't know, I guess like the week that I was gone, it just like shifted and I just wasn't there for the gradual coldness. My anxiety has nothing to do with the cold. I'm just mentioning the weather because apparently that's small talk. So all day yesterday, I was just like in this weird like funk of like, it's like you basically woke up at your house at eight in the morning, but like you didn't because you were just in a completely different state, like a thousand miles away. And it's just like this weird, like, do you start your day and be productive or do you just like shower and go to sleep? I didn't know what to do with myself. So I showered and I laid in bed. So today I also like oddly woke up anxious. <sighs> But also I'm just drinking like an herbal chamomile vanilla honey tea to soothe my soul because it feels like it needs it. The things I do when I'm anxious to make me less anxious. I might cry at some point today, just letting you know. For starters, I usually just try to dump my thoughts. Now, I started a new journal, so I'm making like some sort of table of contents, and the table of contents are, quite frankly, not very informative, but they do say, one, I guess we don't quite know yet, two, we'll get to understanding soon, three, until then you may just find, four, some words to pen out, five, some thoughts to formulate, six, most ideas will settle swimmingly. And that's just something that I keep telling myself and will continue telling myself through the continuation of this journal and when I am anxious I try to just put a pen to paper and figure it all out in one sort of setting so instead of talking to a friend instead of talking to myself instead of trying to figure shit out I kind of just tell it to my journal and then I'm able to close up the book and everything could lie within the spine of it. So it's my own thoughts, my own everything, but I could kind of set it and forget it and just have it lay as this beacon of harboring your secrets or your fears or your goals or your commitments or anything that you really feel necessary. I just jot it all down, especially when I'm feeling anxious. This is like absolutely my first step in trying to feel better. Looks so stupid just sitting here in a hat, but <laughs> my bangs were not really banging. Like, I just have, I have a forehead again, guys. I'm watching Nikki and Gabby's podcast. I'm not really a podcast person, but this like episode or whatever was like, we weren't ready to settle down. And it's just like the pressure of like your 20s and like once you hit 25, you start getting like all weird about it, which is kind of like a good thing today to harp on, which that's not necessarily what I'm harping on today. It's just an abundance of things that are kind of making me just feel like I wanna cry. I like almost feel like I just wanna start crying now and get it over with because like I feel it in my chest that I wanna cry. But I'm like, ugh, look at my hair. It's like literally parted down the middle again. I don't know, I must have slept funny on it. Feel the cry. I'm like sitting here like, I feel like I'm forcing myself to like almost start crying because I feel feel like I'm going to cry today and I would rather get it over with right now. I guess I'm just gonna text my friends for the next little while and vent to them maybe instead of you guys. Like I don't know like it's like I love being able to vent to you guys because I don't necessarily have to get you involved in my like brain like I, I do to an extent and I feel like you guys relate because we're all the same age like most of my viewers are my age which is so nice and lovely and I love that and obviously my friends are my age as well but like with them you know I get like an instant response like an in the moment response and with you guys like I actually have to sit back rewatch my footage edit the footage and then by the time I edit the footage I've already come to like some sort of conclusion or some sort of like brain capacity that like feels a little bit better than how it started 
and then I get to see you guys feeling the same things and being like, oh, I felt this way like two weeks ago. Oh, I felt this way yesterday, but it went away. It's like this nice, like longer circle of breaking down your emotions, I guess. Whereas like, you know, when you text your friends or if you're just like in your head alone, it's comes off, it's, it's more instant, but maybe the answers aren't as like good. When I feel this way, First of all, I look so bad that I don't even know why I'm bothering to put a hat on. I look like Elvis Presley in the flesh. Next, I like to just write things down. But sometimes when I continue writing and I go on this fucking spiral, it's just like, it makes it worse. So I kind of put my book down and I closed it and I just like ended my book on like a more fun note, which was like just writing down tattoo ideas. I was like, you know what? I'm not gonna write some sad, stupid, sappy ass. <sighs> poem or whatever because like why am I doing this to myself like I am doing this to myself this is so fucking dumb and I'm like okay well what's next watch YouTube because I I hate TV I hate movies like I literally watch the same movies all the time I watch the same show all the time I only watch New Girl and I only watch Twilight and like rom-coms like fucking The Climb with Miley Cyrus and like <laughs> Clueless and like all those kinds of movies sometimes I clean Sometimes I do witchcraft spells. I have a candle burning. I've had a candle burning like all day and, and it smells really good. I just had that feeling that I felt like I was gonna start crying and as soon as I started talking to you guys, it went away, which was really nice and really lovely. So I almost am thinking, maybe I just go alive on TikTok and like turn my fucking day around. Um, I kind of did my hair. I don't really love the way that it came out. It's just not working. Like nothing's, yeah. So I thought I was gonna be positive, but I think I might sulk in my misery a little longer. It's like the type of pit in your stomach that like, it's not even in here anymore. It kind of went away from here and now it's just like my brain hurts. And that's not the last thing I wanted today was for my brain to hurt. And like sometimes I get in these things where like just right here, like dead center middle of my eyebrows just start to become this like, harboring factor of like this stress induced anxiety like my like get better solution is usually like i'll do my makeup i'll get happy i'll get excited i'll film like i'll whatever and like just it's just like falling so flat it's just not what i want to do anymore well, not like in general but like today like i just didn't want to Con i don't know whatever <sighs> okay so ow just punched myself in the face i just ate a little bit of like i guess lunch i want to call it dinner because the sun is like already going down uh, and i kind of want to get outside before the sun goes down because i'll be like so shitty i mean it's literally it's been cold all day so it's not like i could have just like been anywhere or done anything i could have went to the mall or something but like i went there last night there's really nothing there like every store is closed anyway to get me out of the house i have i have a few things that i have to drop off to like a donation bin like a clothing bin and they're sitting in the car and they've been sitting in the car so i think i'm gonna go through my closet just very briefly nothing crazy i'm not doing like a deep dive at all i have no mental capacity for that today quickly i'm gonna be like all right let's grab some stuff and start donating them i already did a few things just sitting like right here i have like just like a, a hoodie I really don't wear, a skirt that I wore the other day that honestly is just a little bit too tight on me, corset that you guys have seen in a lot of my <laughs> videos. I wore it like a lot and now I'm kind of just like, not sick of it, but like, I don't know. I'm just like, I feel like I've worn it a lot. This is always so hard because like, I look through things and then you start making like comparisons and recollections of like no I have to keep that because this 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 no I have to keep that because da 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 I think I've done my share of this sweater worn it a bunch but I'm not really a navy blue girl anymore you give yourself every excuse in the book to get not get rid of things I haven't really gravitated towards this number in a while time to call it someone could get like a really cool outfit I feel like I like this I feel like this is to wear this like on thanksgiving this i like it's cool it's witchy but i think someone else will enjoy it better i can't wear this anymore i've worn that too many times this i don't really wear this anymore i'll be back i'll see you in the car all right i went to go drop off my stuff and it was the bag was a lot heavier than i think that i thought it was gonna be and like it's the fact that i had to lift it over my head was just like uh i was like wow b you're so strong <laughs> i was like 
<laughs> it was dumb. So now I'm in a Dunkin' parking lot. Oh, I'm gonna actually order my Dunkin'. Oh, yeah, I'm gonna order my Dunkin' now. I'm probably gonna get matcha. I, like, can't have coffee today. It's just one of those things that, like, and I feel like... I mean, I'm not really anxious now. I was before. But I just don't think that I could do, like, the coffee now. And I want something warm. I'm cold. I have, like, heat on my little fingers. I don't even want to shut the car off when I walk inside. But I always get scared someone's gonna steal the car if I keep the car keys in. Like, when I used to DoorDash... Oh, my God. A lot of you probably don't know that I was a DoorDasher. And I still would be a door dasher because I actually enjoyed it. <laughs> I got fired. <laughs> I'd be so scared to leave my keys in the car when I would ring people's doorbells. I'd, I'd always, especially when I was alone, because most of the time, I not most, but some of the time I did door dashing alone. Other times I'd bring my friends or I'd bring my boyfriend or whatever. I would just like bring people with me because it was like more fun. And I was always scared to leave the car on so I would shut it off like a million times you know what I really wanted actually I wanted a white hot chocolate from Starbucks but they're like so I don't know they're like expensive or should I go to Starbucks I can't do this is what I'm saying like when I get in these moods and I get in this like anxiety ridden spell I literally can't make decisions to save my life I can't do shit to save my life like there's like I, I barely was able to get out of bed today I bit all my finger ew Look at all my fingers. I bit them off so disgustingly and like they hurt now. And it's my fault because I was the one who did it. I'm gonna stay on our no caffeine thing today and I just, I realized that there's a Starbucks in Barnes and Noble. So we can just do that. They don't take the app though, so I'm not gonna get any points, but I have a gift card. Oh no, well not a Starbucks gift card. It's like a regular gift card. To avoid the anxiety of it all, I parked in the most random fucking spot in the mall parking lot. And then I almost hit a little fucking Jimmy, ran off the bus, and, and ran in front of the car when I was readjusting. Like, honestly, the little Jimmy would have deserved getting hit because you don't, you, you don't run in parking lots, especially in front of cars with their lights on that are like parking. But anyway. I parked kind of far, but actually it was kind of a lot closer than I usually park. I need to catch my breath because literally it was close, but it's cold out. And like, I literally almost killed a fucking 13 year old boy. He'll be fine. Nothing actually happened, but I still made me want to kill myself. <laughs> so, I'm going to go sulk in Barnes and Noble with all the weirdos now, including me. I was just sitting in Cinnabon. I mean, no, I wasn't. I'm lying. I'm fucking lying. I was just sitting in Barnes and Noble. But then these girls next to me were like yapping on the phone for mad long, and like it wasn't as relaxing as I feel like it could have been. <laughs> and they were kind of giving me a headache. They were just like were being like annoying, like little girls, just like yapping, and like I couldn't take it anymore. So whatever, I came in the mall and someone caught me online at Cinnabon and I just decided, I, did, I actually said something. I was like, oh, excuse me, like I was next. They completely ignored me. And like, I'm mad loud when I speak. So I was like, okay, they like did it on purpose and are being rude. And like, so I just kind of let it go. And I was like, wow, that really like fucked me up. Or whatever. Now I'm gonna eat nice Cinnabon. The fact that I parked myself in like, oh my God the darkest little area. Like I could take a friggin' nap here. I look like I'm at a truck stop. I'm not, but <laughs> it's like so dark. I'm just like, I don't know, man. I was in the mall and then I went into Ulta. Then I spilled my white hot chocolate on the floor in Ulta because I didn't have a hand and the Cinnabon man asked if I wanted a bag and I told him no, because I was so self-righteous. I obviously needed a bag. Whatever, I cleaned it up, I had napkins, no big deal. And I'm like driving and I'm like, oh, it's not that I don't feel like going home because like I will go home right fucking now. Like I will not leave for the rest of the night. I do not care. It's seven o'clock. Better off home on a Saturday night. <laughs> That's how I feel right now. But like I wanted to journal. I brought my journal with me. I really wanted to journal in fucking Barnes and Noble. And like I was around people, like I was vibing. Like I didn't even want to leave. But those girls were just like yapping so loud. And I'm like, yo, we're in a book store bro can you like not so i just didn't get to take out my dream journal and i'm like all right let me go to like a park it's pitch black out i can't go to a park well i'm technically at a park right now but it's pitch black and i made like so many wrong turns i, don't, I just like you know when you're dry i've lived here my whole life i know the i know everywhere 
so well. I know where I'm going. There's like no, like I don't need directions to go anywhere. I could be in Philly and I need, I, I could use directions. Like I don't need directions like for any place. Like I always know where I am. I'm just in that fucking day. I'm having that day where like I'm not paying attention to anything. Should I go to the supermarket? The supermarket is literally my safe space. I don't feel anxious anymore guys. That's good. My plan worked, but I do have a pit in my stomach of possible hunger. So, oh fuck. I didn't wash my hair, but my bangs have just not been looking good this week. I'm deciding to cut them again. Don't recommend doing this when you're, your feels. <laughs> but now I'm like looking at it. They're all so uneven and so bad, so whatever. I take like a triangle and then I just, no I don't. And then I start splitting them. Oh, and I kind of just like, I have a whole bangs cutting tutorial video, so I actually think I should pay attention. Go watch my, I had a mental breakdown and give myself bangs video. I'm just gonna abandon dinner altogether. My fave comfort meal. Thanks for hanging out with me on my bad days, as well as my good days, and certainly on my anxious days. I really hope this video kind of brought you some clarity on what you can be doing if you have an anxious day, and what you can sort of look forward to as the day progresses and your anxieties fade. So please make sure that you're subscribed to my channel for all new videos, and I'll see you in my next one. Bye!